What up, YouTube? Back at it again. Um, good morning. I think this will post in the morning. I, I'm not. It's nighttime right now, but um, I'm, I'm going out of town. I'm so I'm, I'm trying to have something. We're 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 looking at some Stan Walker. He. Uh, I just interrupted myself. That was weird. <laughs> um, I'll finish the thought. Uh, I'm trying to stockpile some things just to to make sure that youtube and you guys don't forget about me if you want to if you miss this face over the weekend um anyways um uh, do me a favor go support stan go go like and subscribe he's he's in, he was in hawaii i noticed like a week ago or so he he posted like looking for a um a videographer in hawaii um, i've got people in hawaii i i spent i spent a decent amount of time throughout my years um mostly in maui though i think he was he was not he was in honolulu so um, but I haven't seen him on an interview. So this is an interview. I'm not sure what we're going to get, if there's going to be music. Um, this is probably the recent stuff. He's been doing a lot of different versions, um, lives of like his, um, his, like I am like the origins thing. Um, the, uh, Ava DuVernay movie, which by the way, I still need to see. Uh, I intend to, um, I think it's out. Um, and then he's, he's, he's done a bunch of different things with, um, versions of in live shows with uh mari kiteo and and uh, and whatnot so um so he's been he's been doing a lot of good like traditional um you know uh, original stuff that that speaks to cultural um pieces but anyways i just uh this is six and a half minutes or so i, I don't know that i'm gonna pause much or whatever but i've never seen him interviewed so i i'm just trying to i want to hear i want to hear dude speak and and hear his thoughts. You inherit me. I inherit you. I have a language. You speak to me. Oh, yeah. Da, da, Welcome back da, to Island Life Live. Stan Walker a has song. a decade of experience as an artist and storyteller. Spoilers. He is yeah, a multi platinum selling musician and He's here in Hawaii for one night Hawaii. only at the Aloha Stadium. And, 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 and he's here on the couch with us. Oh, <laughs> he just didn't bump my leg. I was like, oh, Stan Walker, he's Stan Walker. <laughs> How did I not put some Hawaiian shit on? I got, ton I got mad. Ho I, I failed. We are so grateful to have you, brother. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. I'm, honestly, I'm so excited to be here. Like, I'm, I'm trying to act cool, but really, I'm just like, <laughs> Hawaii, let's go. You literally... It's it's interesting, the parallels between, like, the Maori and, like, even though they're so far apart, you know, different, but, like, the parallels in in the people and, and, and basically how how dear they hold their land and their, and their people. Um it's uh it's crazy that those but it, but like they even like the, the they speak so different and like everything is so different um but like there's a lot of parallels culturally i flew in and uh, went uh, to the hotel to yeah. just kind of freshen up and then came straight to the studio so that you our audience can see the stan walker yeah <laughs> and get to TV. learn a little bit more about you we, we want to know your story and just you know um I, we know that we've got an incredible show that's lined up tomorrow um but before we get into that we know it's customary for us kanaka mm -hmm. to ask um you know oiko inoa you know who are you your name everything about you give it to us all the details <laughs> <laughs> that sounds scary <laughs> Oh, is he the girl scary? Sounds a little stalkerish. I get it. Um, well, uh, ko Stan Roto Walker toko inwa. Um, no out the aroa ho. Uh, ko mau out the mana ko taura no te mana ko matatsu te waka ko tsu hoi. Uh, rato ko uh, Nazi pro, Nazi pukina, the whole of Iwi is around out the aroa. Um, and yeah, now I reside in my wife's home in Fananui uh, by Te Awa Tupua. Um, it's the only only river in the world that has a status of a person and it's their tupuna. Um, so so it's protected then? Protected and um, there's a post-settlement entity that represents and speaks on behalf of the river. He has a lot thicker of an accent than I, than I thought. Um, I don't know, well you listen to, you listen to music and uh, it's, it's a lot, it's, you, it sounds, obviously it sounds different than just normal, normal speaking conversational. So now we decide uh, re reside there. We are um, bringing up our three kids, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of from everywhere in Aotearoa, but um, I'm 
And my later song, Model Kit, that was a very two hoy song, so I, I, I leaned more to my two hoy side, but uh, the rest of my fans are hey, don't forget that you're nuts, bro. Yeah. You're nuts. <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't forget that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just, just like us, Kanaka, you know, I get talk different ethnicities, and yeah, we get scoldings too yeah. from our Kupuna, to don't forget, forget our different <laughs> sides of all of us. Yeah. So you have three children. Um, you said you have uh, like a brand new one too, right? Yes. So um, my son, my oldest, is five. His name is Tepu Wairua. Uh, my middle uh, daughter, she's a hurricane. Um, <laughs> she's one and a half. Her name's Te Ohi Atia. And our baby, we've just had seven weeks now. Um, seven our girl weeks. is Te Petu. So, yeah, we got, um, we're very blessed. Um, and even because my, my name and my wife's name are just so, like, Barangi, <laughs> they say so and we Stan wanted to Walker. go back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. and, but our kids have got these hearty names like Tepu, Wairu, Te Ohi, So Atia. strong. Yes, and, and we mean me, Stan, and Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Stan and Louise. So we've, we've got, we're proclaiming with our kids. There you <laughs> go. And speaking of that, you know, claiming and, and, and reclaiming the culture, you spent some years dedicating yourself to deepening your, deepening your connection with your Maori culture, something you refer to as your superpower. Talk about that for a little bit. I mean, I've always been um, very proud to be Māori, and I've only ever been Māori, so, but just deepening that connection by going back to where I'm from, all the different places, and finding out my whakapapa, my genealogy of not just where I come from, who I come from, and once I started learning the people that I came from, that I'm descended from, man, it just changed my whole world and the way that I walk in this world, the way that I sing, the way that I write, the way that I operate, the way that I father. Um, and I've, I've had the, the privilege of, of really sitting with, especially my nannies. My nannies are the ones in, in our family um, who hold the whakapapa, who hold the, the that, genealogy. The genealogy. Wow. Yeah. And I, I've got to sit with all my great nannies. Um, they're all past now, but just sit there and go there every weekend and just listen to the stories. Like, you know, everybody's got Google and internet, but they're the real life history, yes. living. Nanny they they lived in it. And yep. I was like, man, I want to take everything that I can from and from them and so I've been doing that for the last 15 years and and becoming a father just kind of like made it more real yes yeah because now I'm handing that down to them and so it's just been a beautiful thing and and being able to be unapologetically Maori unapologetically yeah, Polynesian yes. and to be able to walk tall and and because you know there was a big stigma of you know oh, just brown people or just Maoris you know even coming into the industry mm -hmm. um, I faced a lot of that um, I wasn't allowed to be they didn't want me to be because it didn't um, because they don't understand it. They don't understand, and it, yeah. they, it didn't sell. Um, right. They were very wrong, um, yes. but you know, they, that's what they said. <laughs> they them wrong. But um, yeah, it's just been a beautiful, not not just tool, but um, it's empowered me to be the best version of myself and the most powerful version of myself. And I, and I feel like any, anything and everything that I do is is what that purpose, and and it's, I've got that behind me. You know, yes. I've got the people who, who fought and died, so they that I could be outrageous, uh, that I could be amazing and be incredible and yep. be loud and proud, you know? Because uh, two generations ago, they were getting beaten in school for speaking our native tongue. Same, same you story. You are literally yeah. same sharing story. our story so, just across the water. Yeah, we're yeah. sitting up straight and, and taller because you're making us want to <laughs> say in Hawaii, we yeah. say, hey, oh, so we're feeling this, this pride, this cultural pride. And if you're watching this right now, if you're not already going to the concert, what are you waiting for? You, you've got to, this, this is amazing, <laughs> just sitting over here chicken skin yes and we're gonna spend more time with uh, Stan in fact coming up in about 30 minutes we'll get all the scoops in your shore brother tomorrow at the Aloha Stadium it'd be cool to see him live um, I didn't plan a Hawaii trip around that but wouldn't have been a bad idea it's still I'm, I'll, I'll get out there I'll get out there over the summer here um, there's you got to get out of Arizona during the summer at some point in time. Um, I mean, it's still it's still warm in, in Hawaii, too, where I'll go. But um, there's a big old body of water, really big one, like the biggest one that I can I can dive into. So that's cool. And, and like I said, it's it's uh, it's you know, they, they do have there's a lot of similarities with 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 like cultural similarities with uh, Hawaiian and um, and the Maori 
people uh and it's it's uh it's it's kind of cool just seeing the kind of the clash of conversations because they they could probably say a lot of things that each each of them relate to they just brought up like the languages in schools um that's what a lot of what stan was doing there was uh i guess there was um some of his music recently is is sort of not in 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 protest per se or maybe it kind of is in just you know just making sure it's it's voiced that you know the 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 importance of um of these learnings remaining in schools because there was uh, politics getting involved that was kind of pushing things the other way and the same thing was happening in Hawaii too um so it's uh it's it's interesting and and it's weird you you, you kind of figure like you know that who's who's pushing that narrative of of you know of I, I mean I don't know how to put it like of it's that's a very sort of Western ideology I think in 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 you know in I mean that's how that's how we do things here if 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 we want to they call it progressive if they're just doing away with with history and textbooks and shit like um where i mean the 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 natives of this land you know like we we teach thanksgiving for example it's it's something that that we celebrate um and it's it's taken on this this whole like i can i mean it's <laughs> that's neither here nor there but like it's uh it's you when you think about what you're actually celebrating um but parts of that are are sort of overlooked in in schools it's uh it's more so like, you know, what, what can little Johnny bring to contribute to the classroom cornucopia? That's what's important, right? Um, little, little kernel of corn. Or not a kernel, a, a bushel, or whatever you call it. But um, cob, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, anyways, that was, uh, that was Stan Walker on uh, The Island Life um, live TV interview. Yeah. I, I hadn't really heard him speak a lot. Um, it's with it it, it it it's it is kind of like that thick kind of New Zealand, but it's um, it takes a second, and then because you, you I don't hear that much day to day out here, so it's but we're ultimately we're speaking the same language, so it's not it's not super hard. It's just you know you, you sometimes you you take a second if he gets going fast, right? Um, I still maintain that at one point in my life I will I will move out to New Zealand. Um, New Zealand fam, give me a give me a really high paying, really easy job, and I'm there. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I looked into it once, and the uh, I really I'm not asking a lot. I just want like a self sustaining farm and some green pastures, and uh, I need to learn how to farm first, but. I can YouTube that shit, right? I'm pretty good at YouTube. Not really. Um, and I want to wake up and surf every day, like 5 a.m., 4 a.m., and then uh, come home and tend to my my animals and my plants. I have no idea how to do that shit, so I, I might need to hire somebody. Anyways, so preferably working from home. Um, I got a dog. He's a he's a mini he's a mini Aussie, actually. That breed is not from Australia. Although it is named after it. that breeds from California, um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, go go support, go like and subscribe, uh, Stan as well as Island Life Live. I'm not sure if they have a channel. I'll go check it out though. This is actually on Stan's channel. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody had a wonderful. This will probably post after. So a wonderful Mother's Day to the mothers out there. And um, yeah, like if you like, please comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Um, and we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon.